YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be installing this uh, new front grill that I got for my car. It's a um, JDM style gloss black grill. Let me get this. It's a nice finish. I'm gonna be installing that today. Okay, the first step you're gonna do is remove all the pins from right here. You remove all these pins, like one top here. Once you did that already, you're just gonna get this and pull it out like this, pull it out a little bit, and then you're gonna get the whole thing out and pull it back like this. Once you pull that back, you're gonna look underneath in here. You look in here, and you're gonna see some, they're like some tabs, some little tabs. I don't know if you can see it right there. It's, it's this one. Over here, you can see them, I'm gonna take them off here. Some tabs right here, these tabs. Where's that, right here, on here. Some tabs that you remove the wall. Over here, you can see them better. There's some little tabs, these ones. Up over here, there's a tab right there. So, once you got you got started already, then it just comes off easy. The whole, the whole grill comes off. So, these tabs right here are the ones you're gonna push out from the inside. So you got it out already. So what I'm gonna do is heat this up and then try to pull, pull it off. But right here in the back, you have one screw here, one screw here, one screw here. These screws, you have to take them off and use them for the other one. I'm gonna show you right now. All right, so the new kit comes with the front grill and the sides. This, everything is already there. The only thing you have to do is uh, you have to take out, use the same screws that you had from the old, from the old one. So just take, remove the screws that you have here and put them on the new one. So you're gonna remove, remove this screw right here. This screw. And this screw. So all these three screws. So once you remove the screws, this this, this is just gonna come off this side. So once you take this off, you get the other the one from the new one. You assemble it. And then you add the screws to it. This one looks like it only needs two. So you get the screws, put them on there. So I came across a problem right here that the original screws they didn't work. So on this one, on that side, on the top part, it worked that one. But on this one, it didn't work. So what I did is just I have a lot of screws on the pad, so I just got another screw and I just a little, a little wider one, fatter one, just added it to the same thing on the right side. The top one worked, but this one didn't. Like the hole was too big, so. I just got another screw, a little screw, and I added it to it right there. So the OEM screws didn't work. They were too skinny. So I had to come up with some other ones that I have in my house right here. And I'll put them on here. These are the little screws that I'm using. Okay, so I assembled it, but I'm kind of not liking that big gap that it has right there. It looks good just that these, what do they call them, like eyelids, whatever. 
kind of gap right there. So what I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna loosen the screw a little bit, and I think when I when I form it, when I push everything in, like you're supposed to push everything in, then um, you're gonna this gap's gonna close up. I'm hoping. So that's what I'm gonna try to do right now. Screw up a little bit. It's just to keep it together, but I'm hoping when I, when I assemble it, that gap closes. Or maybe you just have to hold it in together like this at a time. Hold it like where you want it. Right there. It's kind of all open still. I don't know why. Okay, so what I did, I just loosened the screws a little bit so I can have a little bit of play. And I'm going to install this. It should be easy to install. Make sure everything just falls into where it's supposed to go. Just like that. And then all you have to do is push it. because the clips are holding it in. So, once you just put the tight, the screws, not too tight so they can be a little bit flexible, and that should be fine. All right, I put it all in already. Came out good. Everything's nice and flush. So what I did is not tighten the screws all the way tight, just tighten them but not completely tight. And then once you put it together, this is gonna open up into the shape of the car. So it's gonna close the gap. But if you tighten them really tight, um, it's gonna work because it's gonna be already shaped a certain way. So just uh, put the screws on, but you know, the only problem of, of this front lip is, I mean front, grill is that it didn't come with the screws and the screws that the original part had didn't work so you have to come up with your own screws because the whole of the of the, the grill is too big for the screw and it just goes straight in so she looks pretty good she looks tight it's nice and shiny So now just my next step is going to be um, removing the emblem from the other grill and um, putting everything back. So I'm just going to put everything back now, like it was. The easy process, just uh, get the parts that you took off, you got to take off all these clips to remove the tape here for those scratches, looks pretty good. This goes here, first thing you put this one in first. Okay, the only downfall of this is that the screws so if you don't have screws at your house you have to go to home depot and get some screws so a little small screws you know a little bit fatter than the ones that i had already but it's 
good. It looks clean. Everything snapped on perfectly. the ones that go along here. You're done. So that's it. Just have a little scratch right there. Yeah, it is, Check it out. So also on the front over here what I did is um I had got the the, those eyelid things. I got those eyelids things, but I didn't like the way it looked with the thing on the top. So what I did, I just put the bottom piece. It's pretty good. So on the emblem, I was too lazy to go get my heat gun, so I just started taking screwdriver in here sticking me in there and picking it up slowly you know got it so I get to stick it on back like this heat it up a little bit with a heat gun and just put it back JDM style front grill gloss black thanks for watching subscribe to my channel I have lots of content right there of stuff that I've done to my car this is a 2019 Honda Accord Sport 1.5 it's a full look of size of the grill has a little indention right there, not flat like the other one.